Yo, hey everyone, I'm Getty, and today I'm gonna to be talking you through reverse Nordic technique. Now, before we get into the details, make sure that you are subscribed, and if you have any questions, drop them in the comments, and I will do my best to get back to as many of them as I can. Okay, let's talk techers. So, coming all the way down onto your knees. Now, your foot position. Ideally, we want your feet to be flat, where the tops of your feet are flat to the floor. Now, for some people, that's gonna feel like a big stretch is going to feel like a little bit too much strain. So you can tuck the toes under if you need, but know that this will also make this exercise a little bit easier. But maybe that's what you're going for. I don't know. So I'm going to go with flat feet. Now, distance with your knees. We don't want our knees together, but we also don't want them too far apart. I always say about a fist distance between your knees is perfect. If, however, you're doing these and you feel like you're getting a big pulling in, your, um, in the outside of your knee, that would be just due to tightness in your quads. So if that happens, you can take your knees a little bit wider, work on this exercise, and as you get stronger and as those muscles become more mobile, you can start to bring your knees back into a more neutral position. Okay, so we're starting fist distance, feet ideally flat. Now, your pelvic alignment is probably the most important thing to set up with this exercise. So we want to be squeezing the glutes, and if you have shorts or leggings on, you want to try and flatten out any creases in the front of your hips. So you place your hands on the front of your hips, it should be nice and flat. Okay, so really squeezing the glutes, and the core wants to be nice and tight too. So glutes engaged, core engaged. Now your arms can be wherever you want. I like to just fold them across the chest across the shoulders to keep them in line. So you're keeping the glutes super tight, core super tight, head is facing forward, and we just go for a lean back. So as you're leaning back, you feel like your hips are pushing forward. The minute you get this break in the line, you've gone too far. Okay, so we want to be constantly challenging how far back we go, but while maintaining that correct form and technique. So glute squeeze, tummy engages, and we lean back as far as you can maintain this line. Now, to come up, a cue that really works for me is I, wanted, is I think about trying to grow taller, reaching out through the head and coming up. So you create length instead of shortening and compressing coming forward. Otherwise, that shortening and compressing will encourage a break in the hips. So taking yourself all the way back, you're gonna grow taller, we're also going to think about pushing your shins into the floor. And then as you get stronger, we work to try and get lower and lower. Woo! All right, let me know how you get on. And if you have any questions, again, drop them in the comments below. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up. If you know someone that will benefit from this video, please share.